like if you can relate. You go to the bathroom with your period poops, about to take a massive dump. But then, as you're sitting, you get a cramp right in your butthole. It hurts so bad. It feels like the world is ending. It is the most painful thing on the earth. These are five period hacks that you need to know. Number one, eat chocolate. Dark chocolate is scientifically proven to reduce cramps because it contains magnesium. Number two, my secret weapon. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like, and they are Flow PMS Gummy Vitamins. Okay, you take two a day, and they alleviate cramps, bloating, mood swings, and they even help with sore boobs. I hate having sore boobs. That's the worst part about getting your period. Number three, stay the heck away from caffeine. I know how hard it is. I am literally addicted to coffee, but at least switch your regular coffee for decaf because caffeine is going to make you bloated. It's going to make you hurt even more. We don't want that. Number four, you need to eat foods that are high in iron. You're literally bleeding out. Eat some spinach, drink some water. Number five, I am telling you right now, get yourself a pair of period underwear. You can sleep in them all night. They're not going to leak and they don't reek like pads do. It's amazing. If you're changing your pad in school, don't be scared to open it. Old girls go through it. So don't be scared to do it even if there's a kid in the bathroom. This is for anyone with a period, so if you don't have one, keep scrolling. I'll wait. Okay, ladies, come with me. Let's all agree to stop buying these products. They have finally come out with some organic options like these tampons. I love what this brand stands for and there are no ingredients you cannot pronounce. These wipes are plant-based and they do the job to freshen up. We can all agree UTIs are of the devil, so take these pills to be in balance and ward off any infections or bacteria. But if you are having any problems down there, this is a good brand to look into. They are plant-based. If water doesn't cut it to wash down there, this is what I use. It's sensitive and fragrance free. Let's be real. I haven't used these before. I think it's kind of weird, but I know so many people that do. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments and like this video. Proper placement of your menstrual cup. When you insert, you want to kind of push down towards the bottom of the vaginal canal instead of the top, because pushing up on the top is going to rub against the urethra and that can cause unnecessary irritation. Once the cup is inserted and pops open, you want the top of the cup to be a little bit below the cervix so it touches the entire vaginal wall circumferentially. That's how it creates its seal. To make sure your cup has completely unfolded, you can take the base and give it a little twist to see if it will open up any further. You don't want the cup up too close to the cervix because then you won't get a good seal around and you'll be more prone to leaks. Getting the right placement of your menstrual cup can take a lot of practice, but once you get it, it can be really quick and easy. So you know what, like when your eyelashes curl up? Okay, now that all the girls are here, how to put a tampon in. First, there are different sizes. It's really gonna depend on how much of a flow you have. Now the anatomy. You have three holes. The first one, the pee comes out, the middle one's where the period comes out, and the last one is where the poop comes out. Before putting in one of these bad boys, your hands should be clean. So you can either squat or like put a leg up. If you're like a first time tampon user, it'll definitely help. Or you can even use a mirror to like look and like help you out. I'm sorry, I had to get one to show you. You don't wanna angle it up, you wanna angle it at like a 45 degree angle towards you. And there's gonna be a grip right here. So with one hand, you're gonna hold the grip and the other hand, you're gonna push this part up. So like this part will be inserted. This part will stay out of your body. After you push this part up, it's gonna look like this. Ah! And then this white part will just stay and the plastic applicator will come out. This string will stay outside of your body. So when you change it every four to eight hours, you just pull it out. And don't flush the plastic part
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Hi everyone, here are five must-haves for that time of the month. This pose for five to 10 minutes really alleviates any back pain. If you have a heavy flow, thank me later. Weighted heat packs really help with any stomach cramps. I like keeping track with an app. And lastly, please stay hydrated.